Hello there people of the internet. Today we are having a look at some history and capabilities behind the 7mm Remington Magnum. A little size comparison. This is 7mm Remington Magnum compared to 30 6 uh, Comparing 30 6 to other cartridges we have seen, the 7mm Remington Magnum is pretty on par with our 30 6 I'm doing this video series in an effort to earn my way up to 100,000 subscribers by going through a bunch of different cartridges and talking about uh, some history and uh, capabilities behind the round and whether or not they would make good hunting cartridges. So if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. Help me reach that 100,000 subscriber mark because you are among the right crowd and, uh, well, we all like the same things. So let's go ahead and have a look at a little bit of history behind the 7mm Remington Magnum and why it actually exists. So this is a round that came about in 1962 and it was designed by Les Bowman. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. L-E-S Bowman. And he made it essentially because the 300 Weatherby Magnum, uh, which was a cartridge that we actually covered in this little video series before this, uh, before this episode, uh, that right there was a little bit too powerful and a little bit too, uh, too much recoil, too much, too much everything. It was a little bit too much. The 300 Weatherby Magnum is an absolutely insanely powerful cartridge. As a matter of fact, a little recap, that 300 Weatherby Magnum sends a 150 grain projectile traveling at about a little bit under 3,600 feet per second. That is an insanely powerful cartridge right there. And there's a lot of people out there who, uh, well, wanted something not necessarily that powerful, but more powerful than, say, the commercially available 30 odd 6 And so, Les Bowman in 1962 ended up coming out with the 7mm Remington Magnum. As a matter of fact, it was this cartridge right here that made Winchester launch uh, in 1963. The 300 uh, Winchester Magnum, both of them are going to be belted cartridges, which does make reloading these a little bit more on the difficult side, but it is absolutely still doable. So this right is a cartridge that is still very predominant even to this day. Uh, I actually know several hunters who use uh, 7mm Remington Magnum here in the state of Florida. It's it's not as powerful as 300 Win Mag, not even close to as powerful as 300 Weatherby Mag, but it is a good, uh, what would you call it, Goldilocks area between the two cartridges. Deer here in the state of Florida don't really get to be that big, and we don't really shoot beyond 100 yards in most of our jungle-filled wildlife management areas, which is where most people go to hunt. And uh, the 300 uh, Winchester Magnum is a little bit too much power. Uh, 30-06, 30-06 I'd say would be like the good gold standard of uh, cartridges if you're going to go to uh, just a generic de facto cartridge for here in Florida. But some people like a little bit more power just because sometimes boars here can get to be a little bit sizable depending on where it is that you go to. And this right here, the 7mm Winchester, or 7mm Remington Magnum, is a very, very, very good way to get a powerful cartridge without going into the realms of being, like, ridiculous for the area that we are currently in. You hit, like, a 60-pound pig, which is what we have around here in the state of Florida. You hit a 60-pound pig with a 300 Weatherby Magnum, and that thing's going to absolutely turn into mist. So that's definitely overkill. So... 1962 is whenever this cartridge ended up coming out, and I got a couple of different velocities and grain weights for projectiles that you can expect to see whenever it comes to the performance of this cartridge. Looks like the 7mm Remington Magnum is going to fire 110 grain projectile at about 3,500 feet per second and produce about 3,000 foot-pounds of energy. That's going to be less than your Winchester Magnum, uh, which tends to run more about 3,500 or so foot-pounds of energy on target. Now, if we're going to compare apples to apples, bump up the weights a little bit, uh, and we're going to look at 150 grain projectiles. From our, from our, from our, from our uh, seven millimeter Remington Magnum, uh, this right here is going to send out 150 grain projectile about 3,100 feet per second. A little bit faster than a commercial load from a 30-06, which stems, ten, tends to stem more around the realms of uh, uh, 3,000 feet per second for a 150 grain projectile. Granted, they're not the same diameter, but uh, yeah, just, just bear that in mind. The Remington Magnum is traveling ever so slightly faster. It's just a little bit more powerful. It's going to have about 3,200 uh, foot-pounds of energy on target at those velocities. Now, for 
comparison's sake, the 300 Win Mag, that's 150 grain projectile, is going to be traveling at about 200 feet per second faster than the Remington Magnum, and it's going to have about 2,600 or so foot-pounds of energy onto its target. So a little bit more velocity, a little bit more energy from the 300 Winchester Magnum, simply because it is a larger cartridge. But sometimes larger doesn't necessarily mean that is what you want. So bump up the grain or the grain weight of the projectile a little bit more. 165 grain is going to travel about 2,950 feet per second out of our seven millimeter Winchester or seven millimeter Remington Magnum. I keep getting them confused, and that's going to have about 3,200 foot pounds of energy onto your target. Now bump that up a little bit heavier. Uh, 175 grain projectile, you know, plus 10 grains of weight in our projectile. It's gonna travel at about 100 feet per second less, 2,850 feet per second, but it's still gonna have that same 3,200 foot-pounds of energy transferred onto your target. As a general rule, you wanna have about 1,000 foot-pounds of energy onto uh, a deer if you're going to be going after deer. You can absolutely do it with less energy transferred onto the target, but a general rule of thumb, that's about what you want to have. 1,000 foot-pounds of energy being uh, considered to be uh, the minimum. So that being said, Remington, seven millimeter Remington Magnum. Yeah, that's probably what I would be uh, considering the best uh, out, out of the three Magnum cartridges that we've re reviewed so far, the best cartridge for the average hunter. Uh, if you're going after particularly large game or you're going after uh, things that are particularly far away, then you might wanna go ahead and look more into something that is a little bit more powerful. Like if you're going after things in Africa, then the 300 Weatherby Magnum might be more up your alley. Or if you are here in the state of Florida and you're going after things that would be here in the state of Florida, then this right here might be a more adequate cartridge to suit your needs. Personally, like I said before, I think 30-06 is probably going to be the absolute maximum power you would want for basically all of the critters that we have here in the state of Florida. This right here is more than adequate to take out basically everything that we have running around here but sometimes people just want a little bit more and that's where the seven millimeter remington magnum really begins to shine because it really is just a little bit more than 30-06 but it's not an overwhelming amount more like say 300 weatherby magnum so 300 weatherby magnum yeah that 150 gram projectile is like 3,600 feet per second. Bump that up to a 180 grain, you're still traveling at 3,250 feet per second. That's a lot of power going behind that cartridge. That's a powerful, powerful round. I feel like if I were to hit a deer center mass with that 300 uh, Weatherby Magnum, it would basically blow that deer in half. That is absolutely nuts and way beyond anything I would need here in Florida. So all this being said, Thanks for watching, folks. I've pretty much covered everything I want to cover with this cartridge. Hopefully this video earns your subscription and hopefully you learned something. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Description below has linked to all sorts of stuff. Go check it out. You guys go off. Have yourself a fantastic day and I will see y'all on the next episode. I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs>